Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is a Monday view where we will take a look at our pencils of the week. We're going to pretend like last week didn't happen <laughs> and we're going to continue on with the Artista, Artisto colored pencils uh, that we started with on last Saturday. I apologize for the week off. Unfortunately I did pinch a nerve in my back and that kept me out of commission for a little while. So hopefully, uh, as long as I don't move the wrong way, I won't be, uh, you know, going, uh, oh, ow, you know, throughout the video or throughout the live stream tonight. Um, you know, it hasn't been doing that the past couple of days, so I'm really hoping that I won't, uh, you know, do anything that is going to trigger it in any way. Now the Artisto uh, colored pencils are a 72 set of pencils and as you can see they have a really good range of colors. They've got a very balanced set of colors here. So we've got our yellows into our oranges, our peach tones, our reds into our pinks, into our purples, our blues into the blue greens, into the greens, and then our browns and our grays and of course a couple of metallics here as well. So there's a fairly good amount of colors in here. I wish it had a couple of more grays um, just to balance that out a little bit. But other than that, it seems to be a very, very well balanced set. As you can see down here uh, in the colorings we did during the review, they color very nicely on this Nina cardstock. And on the back here, we have all of our information uh, that we went through during the review. Of course, the review is listed in um, Fun Stuff Friday, sorry, uh, videos from, I think, about three months ago, four months ago. I think I got them for Christmas. So I'm going to switch you over to the close-up camera here, and we're going to take a look. So they did not move with water. However, they did smudge a little, so be careful running your hand back and forth. Uh, you can definitely use your water products over top of it, as long as you don't scrub, of course. They did do a three color blend very well. They blended quite nicely with the blender as well as the white, and they did complete a rainbow blend, which is red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. They cost approximately $20 for the entire set when I did the review. So that works out to be about $0.28 cents a pencil, which is really, really good. So they are a really, really nice pencil. Let's take a look at the pencils here. I'm going to grab a dark one. So they are a hexagonal pencil. It says Premium Soft, soft and Artisto. And then on the other side, it has your number as well as your name. So they are named and numbered as well, which is fantastic. All right, so those are the colors. So I'm going to go through here. So we've got our parchment, corn, lemon, bumblebee, turmeric, Tuscan sun, carrot, orange, Japanese sunset, peach, biscuit, fire, salmon, rust, Scarlet, Raspberry, Imperial Red, Strawberry Jam, Burgundy, Pink, Watermelon, Hot Pink, Bubblegum, Magenta, Lavender, Amethyst, Violet Purple, Royal Purple, Blackberry, Iris, Whale Blue, Midnight Blue, Sky Blue, Persian Blue, Cobalt Blue, Diamond Blue, Deep Sky Blue, Blue Horizon, Blueberry, Aruba Blue, Turquoise, Pine, Ocean Blue, and Aquamarine. Then we go into Seaweed, Pine Needles, Forest Green, Emerald Green, Night Forest, Celery, Mint, Fresh Grass, and Spinach. And then down here we have our browns, which is Ochre, Almond, Ginger, Caramel, Chocolate, Gingerbread, Cinnamon, Wine, Mahogany, Coffee, Cocoa Brown, Wood, Silver, Basalt Gray, Black, Steel, Ecru, and Walnut. Now these three here all have a metallic tinge to them. So they do have a bit of a shiny. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on those three at the end. 
So those are all the different colors, and of course we've got white up here. Now the white is very translucent, so it is a great blending pencil, however, not a great pencil for white accents. All right, so that is our pencils. And of course, every Monday we go through and we read from Art Matters. And last week's page was this one here. So this week's page, like I said, we're ignoring that last week didn't, that, you know. Now the problem of failure are problems of discouragement, of hopelessness, of hunger. You want everything to happen, and you want it now, and things go wrong. So that's the one we're going to color. And we're going to start here on the skin. Now remember, this is not a, a coloring book. This is a reading book. So the paper is very, very thin. The harder you press on the paper, the more transference you're going to get from the back side of the page and the more likelihood that you're not going to be able to build that color on the page. So I'm just very carefully going over it with peach. Oh, I started sneezing just before I hit record. Now I'm feeling like I'm stuffy. I hate that. I apologize if I get sniffly. Like I said, I feel all congested now because I was sneezing just before I hit the record button. Alright, so there we have our skin tones. And this kind of looks like a padded cell type situation, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But we'll figure it out. Alright, so we're going to take our... Uh, yeah, we'll take this one here, which is steel. And we're going to put some shadows. top of that skin tone there. Alright. Then we're going to grab parchment. everything off my desk. Nope, that is corn. I want the parchment. Thank you. And we're going to do the dress. Or the, the gown. And we're going to fill this in with some browns. This is just going to be our highlight color. Because this paper is one of those papers where you can uh, easily um, fill in the tooth of the page if you press too hard. I'm going from light to dark just so that I'm sure that I can get all of the colors in that I need to to complete the page. Now I'm going in with Tuscan Sun. And I'm going to bring that right out past the shadowed areas. And of course we can tell the shadowed areas because Chris has 
put those in for us because like I said this is not a coloring page the shadowing and that that he did was for his drawing and if we just follow that it gives us our, our shadowing very easily Now that is one thing that you can do also with many other coloring pages is look for the clues. Different artists draw in different ways of course but most artists will put a slight clue of where the where the fabric bends where there should be a shadow where the arm bends and that sort of thing. They'll, they'll put a little tiny bit of a hint there if it's a line art and of course with grayscale they'll gray that in. Alright, now we're going to go in with this one here which is caramel. And we're going right into those deepest shadow areas. Now I think that is supposed to be. This is the other foot. Let's just put that in. Almost missed the foot. So there we have our dress area there. Like so. And then we're just going to take coffee and we're going to to get the hair of this person down here. Alright, and there we have our person all done up. Now we're going to take our grays. So we're going to take the silver as well as the basalt gray and we're going to fill in the walls here as well as the floor Kind of like it's a little cell, you know, because that's what those feelings make you feel. It's like you're in a little cell. That is wrapping around you. And there's nothing you can do about it. But there is, but you don't feel that at the time. That is the demon of rejection. Is that you feel 
discouraged and hopeless and unable to continue. All right, now we're going to go in with the basalt gray into our gray areas here. This does have a little bit of blue to it. a bit of blue on it because the rest of it doesn't seem to have that blue. <laughs> I did use it on top of a blue so it's probably what happened. And I'm filling in all of the shadow areas and just dragging that out just slightly. Put those lines in nice and heavy. Like that. And then we're going to take our black. Midnight blue. I know the black is here somewhere. What did I do with it? It's coffee. There it is. Nope, that's wood. Let's see. Oh, I put it back. That's why. And we're going to come in with our black. Make sure I am yet. No more. <laughs> and we're going to fill in those heavier lines. Like so. Now we're going to come in here where it's the deepest. as well. And there we have it. Alright, so I'm going to move you on over to the other camera here so you can see it a little bit better. Maybe. And there we have our prisoner of discouragement. So it says, a problem of failure are problems of discouragement, of hopelessness, of hunger. You want everything to happen and you want it now. And things go wrong. And there we have our Art Matters for the week. Art Matters is a book that is written by Neil Gaiman. It is illustrated by Chris Riddell. And it Art Matters because your imagination can change the world. I will be live this evening at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to join me then, uh, definitely do so. Um, I will be going through the To Be Colored of the Month and the Artist of the Month for June, as well as finishing off the page that we started on Saturday 
for the end of Mystical Lands in May and we will be completing the Gnome School. So we've got the wall to do, the log, the window, that sort of thing. So hopefully we will be able to complete most elements of this and I will finish it off screen uh, and then we'll move on to the next artist of the month. All right, guys, with that, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I will leave the Ar Artisto swatch below the video if anyone has purchased them and wants to swatch them on my swatch chart. Of course, I do not have the numbers on here, but I do have the names in color order from lightest to darkest. All right, guys, with that, Always remember to like, comment, and subscribe to any YouTube artist that you enjoy. And always remember to relax, color, and stay safe. Until next time, bye-bye for now.